from suspect to possible star witness. One of three people facing murder and arson charges in the Southside explosion is making a deal with the Marion County Prosecutor's Office. Sources say Monserrati Shirley's plea change may help in the cases against the other two men also in jail. It's a story we broke this morning and continue to follow with the latest developments. Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez joins us now from the newsroom. Rafael. A Todd, good evening. Tuesday, we'll get more details about the deal between the state and Monserrati Shirley. Shirley, her then-living boyfriend Mark Ray Leonard, and his brother Bob are in jail, accused in the deadly Richmond Hill explosion of 2012. Shirley's decision to make a deal may not only help prosecutors in the pending trial against Shirley Leonard in June, but her insight may also help investigators pinpoint a fourth suspect that has never been identified, Red though that person left some proof and that was found by the crime lab. There's more than liquid in these vials. The contents can expose or exonerate. In this Marion County Forensics Lab, some of the worst criminal cases are solved one squirt at a time. Sometimes I'll start with a sample and I think, there's no way I'm going to develop a profile from this, but I'll give it a shot. And then I do, I develop a profile and I actually can link that profile to an individual. Forensic scientists can't talk about ongoing investigations. They're part of a team whose efforts have cracked cases based on DNA found on hoodies, lip balm, and a telephone cord. And among this debris, their expertise opened the door to pinpoint a fourth suspect connected to the South Side explosion. 11:11 11, 11 p.m. on 11/10/2012, a moment marked by flames and fear as families fled to safety in the Richmond Hill subdivision. The twisted metal from the battered and destroyed homes pointed to four people. Three are under arrest, a fourth still wanted. And this door is key to that person being identified. It turns out that forensic scientists found DNA samples on the front door of the home which triggered the blast. Results show the DNA belongs to an unidentified adult male. Items from the South Side explosion were among the total 51,511 pieces of evidence the Marion County lab processed involving more than 12,000 cases. Investigators have spoken to a couple of people over the past two years, Todd, but no arrests have been made. Shirley's hearing is on Tuesday. Rafael, we have all know you've covered this story for the past two years, but what are the families telling you tonight? They're telling me nothing, Todd. I can only imagine that they are relieved based on previous reporting that I've done in that neighborhood while some of the families have been rebuilding. But behind the scenes, the prosecutor's office met with families sometime this week and asked them not to discuss the developments. I also did not go into the neighborhood. I'm not there tonight uh, knowing that many of them in that neighborhood are witnesses in the pending trials and anything that they say could jeopardize the pending two cases. Live in the news, Rafael Sanchez. Now back to you.